When you go to historical Delfshaven in Rotterdam, you will see a historical harbor that is quite a display of Dutch history. An impressive sight to see indeed. All of this once started in 1389. This place had a lot of history. For instance, did you know that the Pilgrim Fathers stayed here for a while? In the St. Antonis Chapel, before they left to settle in the New America. What you will also see is a majestic statue of a Lieutenant Admiral Piet Hein. And he has been a subject of controversy these days. So in this video we will give you some facts about this person and his story. He is considered one of the big Dutch sea heroes, from an era where the Dutch ruled the seas of the world. Delfshaven is the birthplace of Piet Hein. He was born there in the year 1577. An important fact is his year of passing away, which is 1629. This is years before the Dutch slave trade by the company he worked for, the WIC, had really started. This is when the Dutch took over Fort Elmina from the Portuguese, and he had the strategic location to start this awful trading pack practice. Also, the big colonizations that the Netherlands had happened years after his death. Piet Hein is best known for his conquest of the Spanish silver fleet at Cuba. A very valuable conquest. They don't know for sure how much this would be worth now, but estimations go from 100 million to 100 billion euro. This provided enough capital to the Dutch to make good strategic investments and to finance the war against Spain. This pirate type of takeover has to be seen in the context of the 80 year war that was between Holland and Spain during that time. That is why they attacked their ships. The Netherlands had declared themselves independent in 1581, which led to this war. Before this happened, Piet Hein also had various successful attacks on Portuguese and Spanish locations in South America and Africa. The historical information about Piet Hein and his stance on slavery is very clear. To start, Piet Hein was a slave himself in 1598 for four years. Piet Hein had an outspoken opinion against slavery and the treatment of the African slaves. He was a very religious man and kept his crew under strong, tough discipline. Just before he died, in an interview with a priest, he mentions that the African slaves are people and not animals, thus should be treated normally. Furthermore, Piet Hein actually freed slaves from a Portuguese ship that he conquered in 1627 at the coast of Brazil. He helped them medically and then released them on an island. It is clear that Piet Hein was very compassionate with the slaves that were traded mostly by Spain and Portugal in this time. Eventually, after many successes, Piet Hein died in battle against Belgium Ostende ships that were under Spanish rule back then. He was hit by a cannonball on his shoulder and died immediately. Piet Hein was a religious, disciplined man. He was clearly against slavery and helped slaves to be free, but he was also a general at war during a war responsible for the deaths of others during his job. But this is no different from now. Each country has an army and has lieutenants and generals that are responsible for taking out the enemies. We should be careful to judge persons of the past based on generalizations of history. Historical persons have much more depth and nuance and a lot more context of the situation and the time. Remember that we are talking about someone from a society 400 years ago, which is absolutely uncomparable to today. Each country has the right to remember or honor the ones that had the courage to do something extraordinary for the country, where they would risk their own lives, what also happened to Piet Hein. Nobody is perfect, some are controversial, but they remain a part of history that should be told to every generation. It gives people understanding of the place where they live, where they come from, what they did right before and also what they did wrong before. That is the power of learning history without leaving anything out.